The United States Food and Drug Administration approved the use of linecapavil for use in HIV prevention in mid-June. The drug administered via injection just twice a year offers convenient alternative to the existing daily oral prep and other injectable options. According to the Uganda AIDS Commission, linecapavil could be a game changer in HIV prevention, especially for individuals who struggle with adherence to the existing tools. It's very highly effective in preventing HIV acquisition. It's the first time we're having a tool which is 100% effective. Number two, it is convenient to use. It's an injection which is given six months. That means two injections, subcutaneous, below the skin injections. Two injections in a year. We believe that brings uh, relief to many people who have trouble in using so many of our available tools. Government is currently assessing the drug for inclusion in the country's HIV prevention approach. Approval will require submission of relevant documentation by the manufacturer, followed by validation and clearance from the National Drug Authority. Uganda AIDS Commission is hoping that the drug will be approved for use by the end of this year once all paperwork is done. So we expect that approval to be swift. So we expect if they make an application by the end of this year, we expect it will not take more than another six months before that approval is attained. And we already are aware that the manufacturer is prioritizing Uganda, among others, few sub-Saharan countries, where they will be making this application. Despite the excitement, cost remains a concern. The current figure suggests the injection could cost over 103 million shillings per person, money well beyond the reach of most Ugandans. Figures we are seeing in the papers, their estimates, I don't think Gilead has come up to say the Nakapava will cost this much, but we know that as expected, it should be high. To be honest, it's out of reach for, for Africa, but um, Fortunately, even before FDA approved Lena Kapava, Gilead had gone into an agreement with six generic manufacturers and they're going to be able to make the cheaper versions, uh, more affordable versions of Lena Kapava that uh, sub-Saharan Africa. However, the Macquarie University John Hopkins University Research Collaboration says Uganda is among high-risk countries prioritized for subsidized access through agreements. So they'll be able to provide the brand drugs at a more affordable price, what the generic would cost, they are ready to provide it for our countries. And, and, and indeed, uh, we, we are seeing that some funders already are interested in having Uganda in particular, access in Akapava. End of next year, we should be able to roll out the drug in, in, in Uganda. Uganda played a key role in clinical trials for Lenekapaville. The studies conducted in Masaka, Mubend, and Kalangala focused on adolescent and young women aged 16 to 25 years. For the injection, it worked 100%. No girl got HIV in purpose one, as showing that the injection protected them 100%, male and female everyone can use Lena Kapava for HIV prevention. Because in some countries the age varies, the legal age varies, but as long as someone is about 15 and above and they weigh 35, they're old enough and they're active, they can get Lena Kapava. She added that the injection is safe for use in pregnant women. Dr. Matovo also revealed that scientists are currently investigating whether Lena Kapavil can be reformulated for once a year administration. Research is ongoing to make sure that we get a longer and even longer acting injection up to one year such that someone only takes one injection in a year maybe you say first of, of january or on your birthday or on christmas or easter some some date that can help you remember just once in a year so it's good news and uh, very soon we, uh, we are sure that uh, we shall have it also uh, we shall have the sponsor apply for for approval from the authorities and uh, it will be coming uh, in the years to come. The World Health Organization has welcomed the FDA approval and announced it will release official guidelines on Lene Kapaville use on July 14, 2025 during the International AIDS Conference in Kigali. According to the Uganda AIDS Commission, over 1.5 million people are currently living with HIV in the country. Adults aged 15 years and above remain the most affected demographic. Nobat. At Kunda, NTV News.